Alola friends, Dapper Drappy here, and welcome back to some more pack of days. I was able to go back out and get some more packs. They only had Decidueyes though, so we're going to open up the Lunala today. We'll save a Decidueye for tomorrow and Decidueye for Saturdays. Um, I did want to make a small announcement though, I guess. Um, uh, due to financial constraints and whatnot, uh, I'm going to probably lay off some... Uh, some pack openings a little bit um i know i'm already i've already laid off and they're down to just a few in a week but i think what i'm going to try is for the month of april and in the lead up until uh forbidden light i think that's what it's called i can't think right now i can't think today um i'm going to go ahead and move everything to uh digital so i'll be doing a lot more uh ptcgo um i'll still do pack a days but it'll be you know digital pack a days um, I'll do deck techs and stuff like that with the different cards that I'll own on there. Um, ah, there's an Incineroar pack in the edge side here. Um, and uh, stuff like that. So if you guys have any suggestions for, you know, that uh, TC TCGO content, to go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. Um, we've actually had a dry spell with this, so I'm really hoping that today is different than the whole week's been for Sign Moon. Uh, but we'll guess a fire energy since it was Incineroar. It is a fighting energy. But let me think. What else was I saying here? Um, trying Basically, I'm trying to uh, save some money. And apart from like selling every card I own, um, it seems like the best option might be to just like, lay off buying big products and stuff like that. And one of the biggest expenses for me is 30 packs. There are... 30 bucks on loose packs every week. So I'm trying to just like cut back a little bit so I can save up some money and uh, actually be able to get stuff when Forbidden Light comes out. So what do we have there? We had M Alolan Meowth, the uh, Dupider, Marini with the Poison Sting and that hair, Crab Brawler looking for a fight, some switch action, Boldor, a Gramble, let's fight back, causing a ruckus. We got a Reverse Rare Kangaskhan. Um, now, this actually reminds me of a deck that I was looking at. Um, I remember looking at that, uh, that uh, Plusle Minin deck. It does 60 damage, and then you modify it, and then attack with Mew and Mars Shadow GX. And I thought Kangaskhan might be able to do something decent, because Cross Cut, for one energy, if it's an Evolution Pokemon, does 30 more damage. So basically, I'd have just have to find a, a basic version of the same thing, and uh, probably be able to do something similar with that deck. And our rare is a Rebombi. Has that uh, Curative Pollen. Uh, let you heal 20 damage from one of your Pokemon. Now this is pretty cool because it's stackable. Um, but nobody's really playing it because 60 HP. 60 HP is so easy for a Greninja to snipe off. Three Decidueyes is all you would need to snipe it off. Buzzhole, it would only have to attack twice to snipe it off, so it just really, it's, it's really pretty, but it doesn't really do much. It's the same problem I had with Ribombi in the games. I really wanted to use it, I liked it, but it just was so easy to knock out, could not use it. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. Like I said, April 1st, I'm going to start doing some, um, maybe not April 1st, April 2nd, sorry, April 2nd. Start doing some digital pack a days, and then from that we'll see what else we come up with for the content. Um, sorry if you guys do prefer the real life things, but what I'm going to try to do is have a face cam for the TCGO stuff. So thank you guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye now. Alola.